By the 2002 U.S. Open, Tiger's supremacy was such that golf was crying out for a challenger. It was an incredible tournament for me, an incredible feeling that the New York fans gave me, and, and just a wonderful experience. From San Diego, California, Phil Mickelson. I don't care how long someone's on top. There is a point where sometimes it gets taken for granted, not by Tiger, not by the people who are winning, because they keep on winning, because the, 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 the hunger is never satisfied. But I think what we saw at Beth Page, you, you saw a, a, a golf audience there that latched on to an underdog and was ready to try it and now hoist him on their shoulders and get him over the top. Tiger still had plenty of support and appreciation, uh, but it was just, you know, it was a, it was a win that was different than the ones that had preceded it. It was just a, it was a pretty loud atmosphere. You know, the, the New York fans, they were loud, they were supportive, it was ruckus. I had a couple of shots that were kind of offline. You'd hear some some guy yell from the crowd, "Hey, Tiger, I've been over there. You got no shot." You know, you know oh, I already know I had no shot, but well, you don't have to tell me. You know, it was one of those one of those weeks, but um, boy, they were great though. Tiger had built a five-shot lead over Phil Mickelson ahead of the final round. It's very difficult to give Tiger shots in a round. So when he is in the lead starting Sunday and you're catching up, giving him shots, it's very difficult, almost impossible to, to catch him because he very rarely ever makes a mistake. And when he does, he comes back strong. I three by the first two holes, and um, just did not get off to a very good start at all. But I birdied seven. I just got one of it back, and um, you know Mickelson was was making a run. It looked like he might be giving shots back. Having the chance and making the run early through the round was, was certainly exciting. After about a you know, half hour, 45 minute weather delay, that's the last shot you want to hit as your first tee shot. I stepped up there and just absolutely annihilated one and just killed it. Just hit this high cut right down there on the left side of the fairway, put it on green two putty. I could hear Mickelson ahead of me. Uh, the, the huge roar he had when the ball landed on the green, and I could hear the huge roar after he two putted. Um, so I knew he had made birdie. After birdie 13, I certainly felt like I had a great chance to, to do it, to catch him. number, a uh, birdie 13 round top of me, a driver and two iron on the green to increase my lead back up to two. And if I knew if I could just par out the last two holes, I could put a lot of heat on him because then he would have to try and make birdie. And uh, so I made a couple mistakes. When I bogey fell three or four shots back, I knew that, that uh, my run had come to an end. Tiger won by three. Eight professional majors and nearly halfway to Nicholas's record. Mickelson was frustrated again. I hope that we have an opportunity to go head to head more in the future. I, I really enjoy it and I would uh, welcome the challenge anytime, even though my, my success ratio is, is non-existent against him. 
I would love opportunities to, to play against him down the stretch, and I feel like I'm getting better, and maybe I might uh, have a good chance next time. Tiger Woods nurtured a simple, if ambitious, goal to surpass the achievements of a rival from a previous era. All of Jack Nicklaus's achievements from the time he was a little kid, significant achievements. Like, when did he break 90? When did he break 80? And so forth and so on and the date, and the age that he was. And Tiger was competing against him.